What's up, guys? Welcome back to Kitchen Court Cases, where we watch court in my kitchen. And today, we are going back down to Judge Webster. You know he's one of my favorites, and I'm going to be pumping out a lot of videos with his stuff in it in the next coming little while. I love hearing your thoughts and comments on it and would love to hear what you think about this case. If you are not already subscribed, please go ahead and do so. And if you are, please make sure that you've clocked in for your shift by hitting that like button. Without further ado, please join me in welcoming the one, the only, Judge J. Webster in Texas. This court is going to call cause number 50576. This is in the 88th District Court of Hardin County, Texas. And it's in the interest of Jocelyn and Riley Carter. Did I say that name right, Jocelyn? Jocelyn. Jocelyn, okay. Um, Miss Jessica Taylor Carter now. And Mr. Daniel Carter, please raise your right hands. You solemnly swear the testimony you're about to give is the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Yes, sir. Sure. Y'all can both put your hands down. Thank you. All right, Ms. Brown-Zito, this appears to be a motion to confirm that you filed back in July of 2022. Yes, Your Honor. Do you have any other witnesses besides the parties? No, Your Honor. All right, your case has been called. You call your first witness. Your Honor, at this time I would call Ms. Jessica Taylor uh, Carter. Yes, ma'am. Please state your name. Jessica Carter. <clears throat> and you were previously Jessica Taylor, is that correct? Yes, ma'am. And we we filed this to uh, take a judgment as to the arrears on the on the case. Is that correct? Yes, ma'am. We're we are here today to talk about your children, Jessalyn and Riley. Is that correct? Yes, ma'am. They are both of them getting ready to uh, emancipate. No, one of them is two thousand. Next year will. Uh, yeah, she'll be eighteen. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Um, has something changed between you and Mr. Carter since the last order? Yes, we got married in December okay. um, and we got back together about a year and a half ago. Okay. Um, now, can you uh, make sure that you send our office a copy of your uh, marriage license so that we can stop the child support? Yes, ma'am. Okay. But there are, uh, would you agree with me that there are some back arrearages that were owed? Yes. Case. Your Honor, at this time, I would offer the pay record in this case. All right. Hold on. Let me get that on the screen. Ms. Carter, I've just placed on the screen a copy of the alleged pay record between you and Mr. Carter. Is it okay if I look at this pay record? Yes, sir. Thank you, ma'am. Same question, Mr. Daniel Carter. Is it okay if I look at this pay record? Yes, sir. States Exhibit A is admitted into evidence. Now, uh, it's my understanding from future conversations we've had with you that you would like to release any of the arrears that are owed to you. Yes. Okay. <laughs> um, on the child support, that would be $30,953 and 11 cents as of June 9th. Okay. Does that sound correct? Yes. Okay. And on the medical arrears, there are some of those medical arrears that are owed to you, and there are some that are owed to the state. Do you agree on that? Yes. Okay. And the amount that is owed to you is $1,632.52. That's how much on the medical arrears you could release. Yes, Does that sound right? Yes. Those are the ones that are owed to you. Yes, ma'am. And then there are $1,351.66 that's owed to the state that can't be released. Yes, ma'am. And so you're good with a with an order that orders payback on the, those amounts at $1,351.66? Yes, ma'am. Okay. And I everything know. else, do you realize that once that is signed and once you release that, you can never go back and get that? 
Yes, ma'am. I do have a question. Uh, yes, ma'am. Um, they've con it's continued being pulled out of his check, but we stopped getting the payments. So what happens with what he's paid in so far that we haven't received? There should be a, that means there was a hold on the case. And when we do something like this, we put a hold on the case. Okay. So at that time, um, you're asking that any of those monies that aren't owed, that'll probably get applied to first, any monies we have will get applied to uh, the monies owed to the state. Okay. Anything else would be, because um, we have to get that, that order, that uh, marriage license from you to stop the child support. Okay. Your Honor, I have no further questions of this witness. Call no, your next witness. I would call Daniel Carter. Will you please state your name for the court? Daniel Wayne Carter. And Mr. Carter, you and Ms. Taylor are now married. Is that correct? Yes, ma'am. And you heard the amount of arrears that, that were announced? Uh, yes, ma'am. Are, are you in agreement that, that, that those arrears are owed at this time? Yes, ma'am. Okay, and that there's some monies owed to the state on the medical that you would have to pay back. Yes, ma'am. And and you are in agreement to doing that. Yes, ma'am. And you're in agreement to releasing those other arrears, all of those as well. Yes, ma'am. Your Honor, I have no further questions of this witness. Call your next witness. I have no further witnesses, Your Honor. All right, so Miss Brown Zito, you're showing that. So you're asking for a judgment as of June the 9th of 2023 of zero child support dollars and how yes, much sir. medical support dollars? Uh, $1,351.66 after the release. Not. I think that's maybe actually, I mean, it, well, we've had a hold on it, so there won't be any, there shouldn't be any. Well, I got to order it paid back, so. Yeah, yes, sir. I was just making sure we haven't had any payments that slipped through that he should have gotten credit for. Right. Um, Ms. Carter, is there any questions about this case before I make a ruling? No, sir. Mr. Carter, is there any questions from you before I make a ruling? Uh, I got one question. Go ahead. Uh, can they... Can they state how much that's there that they've had on hold? Within and they the last can, year? But it, they can, but it ain't gonna make any difference. All right, fair enough. The well, but you need a you you should get an explanation, right? I just want to know how much because they've had it on hold for almost a year now. Right. Okay. And I want to know what they have right now should terminate what I owe the state. Right. And I'm assuming that, Mr. Carter, but I got to order a payout anyway, just that's, to that's keep fine. I, was just, I was just curious for myself. The the bad or good thing on how you want to look mm -hmm. at it is we have a, a, a rule in this state called the separation of powers. So the attorney general's yes. office is considered to be the executive branch, kind of like the presidential branch. And I'm considered yes, to be the judicial branch. I am not allowed to put my little fingers in how they <laughs> distribute money. Yes, sir. Because that would be an overextension of what my powers are. I can make yes, suggestions sir. and I can put it in my order as a suggestion, but I can't tell the AG's office what to do with money. No, that's fine. That's fine. Court of final court has jurisdiction. Of course, going to find that the that Miss Carter that, that now Miss Carter um, has voluntarily and intelligently decided to release the arrears in her case, which I commend. Um, if that's in the best interest of her children and Mr. Carter's children, then good. Um, and therefore, based on her testimony, I'm going to find that the arrears in this case, as of June the 9th of 2023, are zero dollars for child support. And as on the same date after her release of the money that's owed to her, Mr. Carter will owe back medical support the amount of $1,351.66. I'm going to order that to be paid back at a rate of $20 a month each and every month until it's paid in full beginning August the 1st of 2023. Mr. Carter will, however, be responsible for court costs, but I'll give him all the way until December 31st of 2023 to pay my court costs. Ms. Brown Zito, does that take care of all the issues before the court today in regards to this case? Yes, Your Honor. That was, um, how much was that on the medical gig? medical again 20 20 as of starting july 1st or oh july 1st yes ma'am sorry 
that's I got confused. I, I'm I'm a month ahead for some strange reason, and I have no excuse why none. Um. So yes, yeah, June first. Anything further, Miss Brownzito? No, Your Honor. All right, Miss Carter and Mr. Carter, what's going to happen now is Miss Brownzito's office is going to send me a court order. If it matches what I said here today, I'm going to sign it, get it back to them, then they're going to make a copy of it, send it to each of you. Okay. Thank you. All right, you got to give them a couple of weeks to get all of the the financial stuff cleared out and then the, the money will post and whatever's left over will be refunded back to Mr. Carter. Yes, sir. All right. Y'all have a great day. Thank you too. Wow. Interesting case. I mean, they got remarried. They got back together. Interesting. I wonder how much they got back. I hope they got what they deserve back. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Please go ahead and hit that like button and tell me if you have ever gotten remarried to somebody that you once divorced. Love to hear that down below. Anyways, I'll talk to you soon. Bye.